people who have spiritual experiences attribute such experiences as holy or sacred. This is nothing but bullshit perpetuated by the religious to encourage beliefs in mythological nonsense. When one is considering the importance of experience, it's important to take into account the most important and complex organ of the body, your brain. When you read about the countless experiences people have across cultures around the world, you often hear them speak about a sense of oneness and feelings of nirvana, often implicated on a universal level. Recent research has looked into the neurobiological implications of spiritual experiences. According to a study published in Oxford Academic, researchers have found that there was reduced activity in the left inferior parietal lobule during spiritual experiences. The left parietal lobule is divided into two sections. One involves sensation and perception, and the other is concerned with integrating sensory input, primarily with the visual system. The first function integrates sensory information to form a single perception, which is cognition. The researchers found that such a result indicates that the inferior parietal lobule may contribute importantly to perceptual processing during spiritual experiences. In contrast to stress cues, spiritual cues showed reduced emotional processing and sensory perception, which takes place in the medial thalamus and caudate. This indicates that a reduction of emotional processing and sensory perception can greatly increase a sense of deep relaxation and feelings of spiritual experiences. Cosmologists often feel similar spiritual experiences when they observe the awesomeness of the cosmos. Beauty can regularly overwhelm us but it is nothing more than a neurobiological process in the brain. This doesn't take away from the meaning of the experience, but makes it all that much more enriching without the delusion of God or some higher power implicated. Welcome to the underground.